Um, oh, it's been really good. Uh, the guy, obviously, the weather's been a bonus, and um, but it's been really good, really tough, but exciting, exciting times for me. So if it does, I mean, does it differ from from the last time you were here at Southampton, just a couple of seasons ago? Um, I th think it's about the same. The only difference is the fitness testing wasn't on the first couple of days, which is which is pretty uh, pretty good for uh, some guys, you know. But um, I've been back a couple of weeks now, and um, it's been good so far. So um, hopefully. Um, keep all the niggles away, and I'll keep training through the uh, preseason. Uh, my first season with Saracens was in 2009, 2009-10 season. Um, obviously, Brendan Venter was the coach at that time, and uh, he brought me in. Uh, I've spent uh, three seasons there, three th three seasons here, sorry. And then uh, last season, I spent uh, with Bristol in the championship, and uh, I was uh, thankfully given the opportunity to c uh, come back. By Edward gave me a phone call, and uh, and here I am. Pre-season. <laughs> so um, you got you got that phone call. Um, what went through your mind when when you did? Uh, I was uh, really excited. Really like, you know, it's all I've been here before and I know what the club's about. And um, it was just really exciting to get that phone call and the opportunity really to come back and, you know, um, just uh, almost give myself another shot to play in the Premiership again and just um, just do my best for the club really and give it what I've got. And have you set yourself any personal targets? Um. My personal target for this preseason is just to stay injury free, just make it complete a full uh, preseason, and then I know I know that if I can do that, then I put myself in the best position possible to have a good season. I think uh, since 2009, you know the values have put in place, the the work the work rate and was instilled in the boys, and that's carried on. You know, you know since I was gone till now, it's still there. It's in the boys, it's in the coaching staff. So the drives the drives there and. You know, we've proven the past couple of years, uh, we've always been there, thereabouts towards the end of the season to compete for that opportunity to play for a championship. So, um, yeah, I don't see any reason why not. Why not? So, yep, definitely.